What's up everybody, welcome to All Out Brick. Today we're gonna be playing the Mata Nui online game. This was the first Bionicle game released back in 2001. And this kind of explained the story which wasn't included in like the sets and the comics and stuff like that. So this will give us a bunch of story information about that. It's the first game I remember playing back almost two decades ago. So let's go ahead and get started. We were on the beach here. Let's see we have a canister. Nothing in it. So we have tracks. Uh, I'm not sure how I got there. So I downloaded this game from um, a Biomedia Project. They have all of the games, all of the Bionicle content actually on there. And it's like a built-in save version that I was able to download to my desktop. So I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested in downloading or playing the game. You can play it either online or on your desktop. But I think with Flash expiring soon, um, you have to play it on your desktop, so. Well, I'm trying to think which way we should go here, because we have a Matoran waving to us over here, but we have some Toa tracks. Mm, let's go this way. Actually, before I head over to you, I'm going to head up these stairs. Oh, jeez. Uh, it looks like we got a cutscene. I guess that's Mata Nui. Those must be the Matoran. I, I wonder what kind of scope this is. Like, there's like that oval we're looking through. There's Makuta. Looks like a shadow spreading or something. Oh, I can exit this at any time? I mean, we'll, we'll, let's just watch it. <laughs> so it must be Matanui falling asleep and Makuta's got his little spawns, aka the Rahi. So I guess, having known the information that uh, is all about the first year of Bionicle, that kind of helps. If you didn't know and you were just playing this game, I'm not sure what the heck you'd think of this right now. Those are definitely the Toa. Defeating the Makuta's spawns, or I don't know what you want to call them, and then defeating the Makuta. Okay, so that was interesting. I'm assuming <laughs> that's what we'll be doing in this game. Ah. Alright, so we got a telescope here. No, oh, a little Easter egg. There's a bow rock there. Uh, so I guess this explains the different events of Mata Nui. Um, if you look through this telescope back here, I think you can see it. See, we got the uh, Toa arriving, then we have Tahu, Gali. I don't know what that is. Uh, I want to say that looks like Pohatsu. There's a little bit, some green smudge there. I'm not sure what that is. There's Kopaka, there's the six Toa uniting. Very interesting. So if we take a look at here, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how this works. Uh, I actually have the um, Bionicle alphabet up on another screen. So let's see what this says. That top says, let's see, what, what letters do we have here? We have actually numbers. It's one, zero, two, one, zero, two. Yeah, I don't know what, I guess those are just coordinates, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure, let's put this back at full screen. All right, now let's head down and talk to Maku here. Help me help, help help me, my village has been attacked. Well, that's unfortunate. Who are you? Maku of Gakoro? lies between the sea and Lake Naho down the coast. I mean, I might be pronouncing some of these wrong. It's a great village of many Tahunga, and our leader is Chiraga no Kama. Much of it's been destroyed by now. Well, what happened? The Rahi attacked, and let's see, it looks like some monsters destroyed everything in sight. No Kama, the Turaga. Barricaded, but the Rahi broke the pump, and the hut sank beneath the waves. Uh-oh, so this is what happened. There's no Kama. It's like a Tarakaba. 
attack the village. How do we get on this dock? Uh, I, I guess I have to help, right? Find no comma. And Maku will try to find Gali. Alright. Gonna ride along in this boat. Alright, so we can't go back that way, but we can go here. Alright, so we have a mechanism here. We got, the, looks like a lever. So let's see. Oh boy. Alright, so it looks like we have to line up, play a little weight game here. Almost. Actually, what happens if we just put in one more big one? No, that's too much. There we go. I don't understand the point of this gate. You couldn't you I, I, couldn't you just walk right around it? It seems a little pointless. All right, so all the huts are rather just. Oh, there's an open one. Uh huh. All right. So this must be the pump that's broken. Clearly, we have a missing gear ah a backpack all right so what do we have over here looks like everyone's trapped but I guess they're not really trapped because they can breathe underwater so <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right uh, this was the only other open hut so Is there anything I can grab in here? Ah, a light stone. Okay. I still don't know where this gear is, but I have a feeling it's gonna be somewhere in here. I, I mean, <laughs> still not seeing anything. I got an idea. All right, so, I mean, I don't know why else there'd be a light stone there unless it was supposed to help me find this gear. Right? Okay. Nothing. I don't know where the heck this gear might be. Bad to be SOL because I don't know. Ah, cool. A machine part. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna call it a machine part. So it's a little hard to navigate through here. Gotta say. All right. So let's go ahead and drop that on there. Boom. Pumps working again. Might as well call me Tony Stark. See what we got here. Pumps back up, huts back up. How come that's the only hut that sank down? There's our tar and hobby. Uh oh. Look at Golly with the blacked out visor. Now it's not blacked out. But... He pumps is pretty slight. He's got to up that speed a little bit. So look at she looks like a football player. And the effective mask is off. So now that Tarakaba is going to behave as normal again. And now we have a bunch of people. You saved our village. Technically, I didn't save the village. I just got you guys out of the water. Uh, 
I mean, I kind of feel like a false god, but you know. Ah, he's got a telescope too. I'm the astrologer. I watch the stars and the water. I'm charting changes in the sky. Many important things are happening around Mata Nui, and many more will happen. I use the telescope on the cliffs. It tells what will happen and when. Okay. How do I use it? Around the base are pictures, their constellations, and markings show the prophecies of legends. Each picture has a red star. When the red star reaches a certain place in the heavens, it means something important will happen here on Mata Nui. When you look through, you will see many stars. One of them is the red star. Yeah, we saw that. Look at the constellations near the red star. They look like the ones in the pictures. When the red star is exactly where it is shown in one of the pictures, a prophecy may come true. If something changes in the sky, it's my job to change the pictures so that I can better see the future. Even though we the Tahunga remember the prophecies, nothing is certain. The future can change. So is he saying the stars change? Because that doesn't seem... If you read the numbers in the telescope, it's even easier to tell the future. Ah, uh, all right. That was uh, interesting, but I'm not sure I learned much. Okay, here we go. Holy arms. Look at how long your arms are. You're bold and true to your word. Everyone owes you their gratitude. I really didn't do anything. I, I found a machine part that anyone could have found. Yeah, Maku's the one who snuck away to the village so she could find me. Why didn't she just look for the machine? I don't know. My village needs me. Your eyes are filled with questions about the mysteries of Matanui. Giving you some of the answers you seek is a small payment for your deeds, so... Our astrologers read a dark future. Yeah, he told me. Toa have come and begun their mighty quest to save us from the Makuta. Here in the midst of the upheaval are you, a brave wanderer in this dangerous land. Yeah, who am I? Someone has plans for you that are greater than your stature was... Yeah, well, that my name might help. You, perhaps you are to be a hero like the Toa, I don't know. The Tahunga have forgotten their civilization. Even the Taraga do not have a record of all that has come before. Hmm. But the ocean remembers. Oh, water holds many secrets in its forbidden depths. The ocean remembers. I guess water has a memory. What movie is that from? Water has a memory. It's from a movie. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's, I know it's from a movie. It watches the island as... Oh, it's from, like, Frozen. <laughs> and remembers. It caught the Toa gently when they descended and delivered them to us. You're an absolute in these uncertain times. Your past is forgotten. All right, so did I get bonked on the head? I know who Gali is, but who, who do you think Gali is? Toa of Water. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I'm the great hero of Gakoro, too, so... Why strong and quick? I noticed the quick. Protector of the sea, and she can breathe freely beneath the waves. Yeah, what's up with Maka? You said sneaks out of the village to spy on Huki, the Koli champion. Tells me she's just practicing her boating, but I know the truth, and it's far too dangerous to her to be outside the village now. Mm hmm. For her own safety, I forbid her to go, even though wandering saved us this time. Well. Travels to Pokoro, you should meet Huki. Tell him she is safe. He may have heard from the attack and been worried. I think that's all he got for me. Is there anyone else? I think we went everywhere already. Uh, I don't know. That dude looks a little mean. Okay, what does this say? That says Huki. I know that. To Huki. Right? Yeah. To Huki. That's Mach. I'm gonna guess it's Maku. No, it's not Maku. To Huki. Um, w with. Lots of. Love. <laughs> to Huki with lots of love. Ah, uh, no. Who? What? The, what does this say? Who? Oh, this says to Maku with lots of love. Huki. Oh, oops. All right, you look distressed. There, poor Huki. There's trouble in Po. Yeah, I'll go find out. How's that sound? This this guy looks threatening. 
Poahi stay here, Tawahi. Everyone's freaking out about Pokoro, so I think I'm gonna head over there. I still wanna know where this foot. Oh, look, there's the event that we just saw, and that's something really long. Don't get too many travelers around here. What's, I know what Poahi is, there's not much to it. Lots of sand, Anakin wouldn't like that. There's canyons, which are pretty cool, to, which are real pretty to look at. Hmm. Decent place. I will definitely go check out the Coley matches in Pokoro. How's that sound? Stay out of the sun. That's generally impossible at this point. Pokoro. All right, we're going to go to Pokoro. Uh-oh. Hot enough for you? Onu Koro. No. Onu Wahi. Lots of cows. All right, no one knows what that is. Oh, are you looking for a good Coley Bowl? Let me recommend the Comet, our most popular model. They're the best ones. Everyone wants one. Don't be the only Tahunga in Pokoro without a Comet. Coley Bowls from playing Coley. Yeah, where do you get them? That's privileged information. Secret source. I don't know. Yeah, how do I buy one? We trade here. If you got something worth trading, I'll give you a Coley Ball for it. I don't think I got anything worth trading, dude. I got that. How about a Lightstone? Nope, he doesn't want that. Come back anytime. I don't know about that, dude. No, he can't talk. I'll trade you two Husi for Maha. Want a Maha? Go and cheat. Oh, we read that backwards. Oh, boy. Uh, got Onua, the other Onua, O-N-E-W-A, Onua. I'm about to announce to my people the news the next Coley match will have to be canceled. Pohatsu couldn't play Coley at a time like this. What? Say Onua, mm-hmm. Tahunga here are master carvers and their work is the envy, but today I'm fashioning beds. Sick people in the village. Oh, geez. I guess Pokoro's getting hit with the COVID. Why are you canceling? A dark plague has corrupted my people and my village. They really got hit by COVID. Though so many still stay at their work, visit the bazaar and play Coley. They've blinded themselves to the truth and put strength and duty before fear. You know, for a two decade old game, these people must have been time travelers. Huki was the first to fall ill. That's just unfortunate. He's weakened and cannot move from his bed. You know, everyone says the Simpsons are predicting all this stuff. This is a, this is crazy. His great strength can fell mountains, and the Kanohi Kakama gives him speed greater than any creature. But two strength and speed can't help us. That's ironic. Yep, ironic. An enemy that can neither be seen nor felt plagues us. The plague. Vakama has sent his guard to assist us, but they will not enter the village for fear of falling prey to the disease. They're combing the hills in search of Pohatsu's on a grave quest for the Mask of Power. No one knows where it's coming from. I will find out for you. How does that sound? Also, where is Huki? I gotta send a message to him. What is this? Is there anything else to do over here? Alright. Gotta talk to this guy. I'll play you in Coley if you want. Traded two Hoosie for it. What's these Hoosie? Coley is the greatest sport on Matanui. Much more skilled than they play in the village. Obviously, this is a... They don't have to be as fancy. You call this a fancy field? Dude, it's just a bunch of stones and dirt. Four goals, four players. Each of the goals is a Tahunga to guard it. You just kick the Coley Ball into any of the other three. So it's pretty much like 
multiple people playing hockey or soccer, I guess. That sounds interesting. They're perfectly balanced, so very hard to miss when you kick them. They fly fast as a comet. I don't know where they get them. Hookie is the greatest goalie player ever. That's, that's he's the goat. That's a that's a strong claim. He was fell ill because of the coronavirus, and he hasn't seen him around much. Just lives on the other side of the Coley field. All right, cool. I'll go talk to him. Uh, whoa! Did he just cough? Social distance, my friend. All right. Um. Oh, boy. oh man, he looks like he's in rough shape. Stay away from me, ah, uh, dude. I know who you are. You're Hookie. Why are you sick? I don't know. I've been here for how many days? I'm not sure. I used to know. I feel strange. Well, I'm supposed to tell you something about Maku. And you, is he coughing? He is coughing. Get the get the COVID man out of here. Oh wow. Everyone's home sick. No kidding. Where'd he go? I guess he's dead. Alright, maybe this will give us some insight. So it's the Coley balls, if you haven't figured it out. So, did I just take that with me? Infected Coley Ball. I'm gonna go show this to the dragon. This is some bad news. He's gonna be pissed when he sees this. Yeah, I know, the unhappy time. I got something to tell you. What? Oh, this is just a Coley Ball. I told you he wanted it. It's a special kind being traded at the bazaar, which has become very popular. If these balls are the cause of the illness, then we must take them away from the village and throw them in the sea. Aren't there, like, other creatures in the sea? They must have proof that they're the cause. This is a vital clue. The merchant at the bazaar sells these. You must find out from him where they come from. Alright, I'm gonna go... A shadow of Makuta is coming. All right, for Kamas guard, I was just a pot. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go arrest ah uh, that dude from the bazaar. How's that sound for you? Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, guess what, dude? Your coley balls are infected. That's privileged information. I understand, but. Come back anytime, yeah, thanks, dude. All right, um, I think that's, let's go check, let's go, maybe saying something to someone at Gakoro? All right, which way do I wanna go? My right, or is it your right? I was just at Pokoro. Whoa. They weren't kidding about the whole carving thing. Ah. So which one is this? It's not him. All right, let's, let's try to figure this out. I don't think it's Lewa. That doesn't look like wind. It's definitely not fire or water. It's probably Onua. It looks like we have the drags. Yep. Cool. Alright. I don't like this. There's another infected Coley ball. Ah, Nui Jaga. And here comes Pohatsu. So we already had Golly, now we got Pohatsu to come in. Oh, hey! The scorpion has blinded me. Tell me where to kick the ball and we'll destroy his nest. That sounds easy. Chump. This is, it. This is all I gotta do. Hey, that was slow as well. Ah, so the longer you hold it down, it turns into like a rocket. I 
mean, I'm not going to be shooting anywhere else. I'm just going to go one by one and take these out. Ah, uh, you know what? This is tough. Oh. This thing's an idiot. He's going all the way to the other end on the broken nests. Oh. Alright, alright. Okay. This is, this is tough. Fight! Oh. I'm gonna try a different angle. There we go. Like Alexander Ovechkin over here. The grade eight. Boom. All right, we're almost there. Two left. All right, all right. Boom, last one. Hey, idiot. I'm gonna sneak a slow one by him. Oh. That's embarrassing. Oh, I have to kick it harder than that. Boom! Uh, I guess Cristiano Ronaldo's eyesight came back. Cool. And now the cave's collapsing. I guess he picked me up. Where am I? Excellent, my friend. We make we make a good team. My sight is returned. This was an evil plan. Onua has right to call it. That was an infected mask set behind the Coley balls. But who left it there and placed the balls beside it? The Pokora will be safe now. We have uncovered a greater mystery. So, do I have to go arrest that guy from the bazaar? I'm gonna go arrest that guy. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back here. Yeah. Um, so what's going on with Pokoro now? Oh, everyone's back and happy, huh? Where's Akma? I'm gonna go roast them. A foam finger? Scoreboard, scoreboard. A lot more people here. Good day for Coley. Oh. Hookie alive. Oh, man, he looks ready to go. Hup, hup, hup. Yeah, they best be out of business. Do you have anything to say? I'm another hero. Oh, look at that. The Tahunga, I'm not certain what became of the merchant who sold them. He disappeared before Pohatsu returned. Did this guy? <sighs> you know? Oh, cool. A Pokoro chisel. Show it to Nokama and she will give you the Book of Chronicles. Okay. Back to Gakoro. So this dude fled once he knew he was in trouble. I don't like, I don't, I don't, he gives me, he gives me some bad vibes. All right, let's go back to Gakoro. Oh, gotta get away from this guy. Yeah, let's go. All right, uh, Mr. Menace. All right, let me go talk to, actually, you know what? Let me go talk to Maku, let her know that her boys uh-oh, Hookie might need you. That's unfortunate. yet. Okay, Lastima, what a shame. All right, let's go talk to Nokama. Hey, give me my book of secrets. Take this book and attend to it, and travel to the villages. It will store all that you see. If the Toa fail and Matsunui is destroyed, this will remain. All right. I don't know what the heck she gave me, but... The episode book. Oh, okay, it's got like our uh, chronicles. Whoa, Tahu. I don't think we got there. Let 
Maybe we were supposed to uh, <laughs> go to Takoro first. Oops. Oh, you know what? I gotta sail back there. Um, uh, where's the boat, man? There he is. Sail to Tawahi. I need to get back there. Ah, uh, there's our little. Uh, why? Why don't we just? Why we do so far around? We got. Uh, all right. Now let's follow these footsteps. All right. There's Tahu. Eyes glowing. Uh, you want to tell me what you're doing here? All right. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here. Jala. Ah, excellent work, my friend. But take care. My scouts have reported... I don't know why I'm giving him a Hispanic. My scouts have reported a solid buildup in Rahi, and I fear a massive counteroffensive. You look stout. You consider a career in the guard. Uh, are you trying to recruit me? It's my job to protect the city against the Rahi. I knew they were getting stronger, but no one in the city believed me. Whoa, Tahu arrived, and Bakama says he'll save us, but I don't see the point in putting all our hope in him. You can never have too much security. It's like where his head's at. I know what Takora is, but I guess I gotta find out. The Lake of Fire, the Shadow of Mangai, the Great Volcano. This fortress guards to build the bridge. Many Tahunga live here. Surely you've heard of it. And I do not have faith in the other cities, so that's not nice. Toa or not, this guy is pessimistic, I gotta say. Ah, uh, Rocky. They serve Makuta. They're horrible beasts, ruthless and fierce. Seems a little bit stereotypical. The ones that I saw, uh, they weren't so mean ones that are infected. Masks were off Jala. Some can fly, others can walk along the ground, and some have even tunneled beneath it. We've battled many of them. They become bolder and have forced us back to here. Takoro used to reach all the way to the coast. The charred jungle used to be a place of green, beautiful place, peaceful peace. But in the fury of our battles, it was burnt. But Tahunga, won't, we won't surrender. Now Tahu can lead us against them. There may be another way to fight them. Until then, we must patrol our stockades and our trenches day and night. Thank you. You seem like a fierce warrior. All right. Uh, let me, no. Some captain of the guard just walked right by him. Was I supposed to do that? Yeah. Just put up a bridge. I'm gonna sneak by him again. Uh, turn around here. There we go. I like that. Okay. Let's see. Sh wait a minute. Isn't that the tops of the toe lids? Or the uh, Toa canisters. Oh boy. You found your way back. Way back. You're brave. I don't know what brought you to this city, but should you take care, there are some who remember you. The temper of Takora Tahunga boils swiftly as the great man guy whose shadows we live in. You may find the patience greater than usual. There's hope in Takoro. Tahu is here. It was Jala who found him. He caught him in a strap intended. F oh. Tahu was in a trap intended for a Rahi. It was the, almost the end of the captain of the guard. Uh-oh. Got a little story here. So here they go. What was that? Did he just fart? Is that what I think it was? There's that trap. Oh, good idea. Oh boy. Jalous. Yeah, I can see why he almost died. Bold. 
old strategy cotton. That's, I know that sword. Ah, here he comes. Comma spam and so on. We do not do that here. And now they all love him, just because Vakama bowed to him. Wasn't Jala just like super, like, anti-trust? Okay, so that's interesting. I'm Vakama, the Turaga, and the Legend Keeper, the Takara Leader. He of the Great Fire Staff, who farms the Mangai's burning core. Sounds like a villain's lair. He of the Great Fire Staff, who farms the Mangai's burning core. Sounds like a villain. I don't, I don't I can see why Jala has trust issues. Have your aimless wanderings caused you to forget everything? You still have a board that I gave you, for that was a special gift. Lava surfing is a difficult skill, and no uh, Tahunga other than those that dwell in Takoro have knowledge of it. Uh. I don't have a surfboard. He's waiting for the arrival of another. Uh, I want to go check out that forest. Maybe I left my surfboard in the forest. There's the waves. Am I just... Hey! I am Kapura. Are you the Makuta? Nope, I don't need, actually I could be. What are you doing? You're practicing. Even though I'm slow, I may be faster than the others and travel very far. He says I must practice. Jala says I'm being silly. He's practicing being fast. All right, if you're not the Makuta, I guess you know you're not. Jala says I have to be careful in the forest. Makuta's everywhere. Rahi monsters. Hmm. Well, where am I? If I practice, I can be where I am. This dude is weird. Matsunui fell from the sky and landed here. The Makuta came after him and made him fall asleep and sent his monsters out across the world to control it. Interesting. The one that fell on the beach, that was Totten. Yeah, I already talked to Fakama. He didn't mention that there was some psychopath in the woods. All right, now how do I get out of here? Before we saw that one sign with the waves, I think we gotta find that. Ah! Cool. Alright, so that was weird. Um, apparently I lost a surfboard. You have a surfboard, give me that. Oh! <laughs> that went much better than I expected it to. Ta Onu Lei Koro. What? Ta Onu Lake Horo. I guess it connects quite a few villages. Uh, we got a little tunnel here. There's a couple lights. A little crab. Uh, you look distressed. Better steer clear. There's a runaway lava flow. No way to get the lightstone mines unless it's rerouted. Oh, well, guess who? If only we could get across. Oh, well. Uh-oh. He's a giant key. If he gave me the key, I could have... Alright, so how does this work? Alright, so it turns... So it's a puzzle. It looks like it, when you hit it, it takes everything adjacent to it and 
makes them the opposite of what they were. So if I press this, all four of these should light up. Right. So, how? I mean, I could just click and then eventually I'd get it, but. Let's see. Now, if I press this one, all of those would shut off. So that's where we're at. That would turn these two on, but this one would stay off. So we have to get into a situation where like all of the corners are on. See that? So this would turn those. Now we got opposites. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, I thought I had it right there. I think that's a good strategy, though. It's so close. This is a tough puzzle. Randomly clicking may be easier in this situation. You got a little disc on your back. Captain? Um, that door's open now, so. Cool. There will be lots of folks in Unicora who'll be glad you found a way to the light stones. Unicora, I think that's where I'm supposed to head over to now. I think that was going this way, right? Unicora. Lake Coro. I do want to go to Lake Coro. I'm gonna head here first. Talk to Anua first. All right, let me drop down to this elevator. All right, um, let's see here. There's a broken axe. Oh yeah, they weren't kidding. This looks like a sundial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, um. If I knew an astrologer, I know an astrologer. All right, let me go talk to the astrologer. I don't think I need to find anything else out here. All right, so back to the astrologer.
All right, so actually, I want to hang out in Onukoro for a little bit before I go talk to the astrologer. What's going on in here? The mining guilds? That's the entire mining area. No soft spot. Surface deposits. We have may have to look elsewhere for more protodermis like Tawahi or Powahi. Higher organic levels of any mineral. I wonder what we'll find if we break through. Uh, he needs more resources. Uh, Alright, so he's busy. ATM. Another uh, tub of canister lid. Oh boy, we got more markets. Is that a fish market? What's in here? This is where we were. I want to... What, what is going on here? Fish from Gakoro. Torches. Uh, I got a light stone. Is that like a little cavern or something? No. Um. Oh. Interesting. I'm gonna go back this way. I need to go talk to an astrologer. What you want? Have you fixed the problem we're having with the lightstone mines? I did. Take Puku if you need a ride. All right. Ride the crab. Where are we going? Maybe Jala's got something for us. I mean, I just solved a little problem in the mines. All right, Jala, let's go talk to you. All right. All right, so let's go talk to that astrologer. That's definitely the next thing we have to do. Boat, thank you for waiting. Yeah, let's go to Gakura. I need to talk to that astrologer. Show him that stone. That giant thing looks like a sundial. Uh, this was the astrologer, right? Yeah, all right. I got something for you. Check this out. Ah! Ah! Sundial. Perhaps there was an earthquake and it fell beneath the earth. This is an ancient sundial used many ages ago. Its purpose is completely forgotten. It is an indicator at four o'clock. Take this gnomon and see if it fits in the center of the sundial. You see, I found it in the foothills of Mount Ihu a long time ago. Okay. I do have a way to fake sunlight underground. I have a light stone that you guys, I don't even know if I was supposed to get that light stone. I kind of just robbed Nokama's hut. Oops. Oh wait, no, we gotta go back on the boat. All right, so now I have to go back there. His legs are probably getting tired. Uh, Sito Tawahi. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna follow the Toa Prince. All right, so we're gonna go all the way back here. 
Um, I think the comet has anything else for us to say. I kind of fixed your problems. Now he doesn't have anything else to say. Yeah, I already watched that video. Uh, no, I got nothing else for you. All right, so let's go back. You're preparing for the arrival of another. Interesting stuff. Let's go back to the sundial. Boom, this is a long way to run. Big Island. Yeah, this is where we have to go. All right, all right. So let's drop down. I don't know what the heck's gonna happen when we get open the sundial up, but I do know. So we have to take that thing. I like how he just was holding on to that thing. Like, all right, so I'm gonna drop you in. Now we have to make sunlight. And four o'clock is here. Oh. You see that? Um, if you would stop spinning, maybe I could figure it out. All right, um, it looks like R, A, Rahi. It says Rahi. Yeah. All right. The good news is though, that I think that other guy's not gonna, I think I can go talk to Winua now. Cause I just broke through their little layer and I gotta fix their problem. All right. Okay. So let's go find uh, Winua. Yes. All right, he's free now. I thought the guild masters would never leave me. Like, well, that's what I'm here for. Um, I kind of just want to know where I'm supposed to go. Unicoro is the city under Matanui. Come from near and far to trade out our great market and marvel at the work of our engineers. Mine light stones. Yeah, who's Onua? Toa of our village. I, I mean, I knew that, but... Where is he? That was useless. Um, but perhaps we can go somewhere else. Uh, no, no, no. I don't think I wanted to go there. Can I go back to Lake Oro, maybe? Um, no, I don't want to go to Pokoro. I think it's this way that I have to go. Let's go to Lake Horo. See if they finish those little... Nah, they're not done yet. So where am I supposed to go? But if it's only found a way to light stones, we can dig much more quickly now. We'll reach Lake Horo soon. Supposed to be digging too, but he showed me how I can do both at the same time. That's how smart he is. The Rahi attack the site, stay near me. I will protect you. I hear some drums, but there's no way Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Oh! He broke through. Alright, alright. We're getting somewhere. We did it. We made it through. Onipu was right. So beautiful. Manu said I should make camp when we break through, but I want to go and see Lake Poro and the tree tunnel go. It's safer to stay here, but I, yeah, I'll take it. Alright. I 
Uh, I think this is Lake Wahi. I don't think we're in Lake Koro. It's beautiful. Oh, whoa! What was that? He just got stolen. Um, this place looks gross. Big tree. This is Animal Kingdom. I see a flu. Where is everybody? Kongu. And I don't know who that is, but he got hurt. It seems like something exciting is about to happen, so I think this is a pretty good spot to wrap up part one. Uh, you know, if you guys like this video, like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to check us out on our website and our social media pages as well to see all of our content. We'll pick up here with part two in the next video, which will be coming out probably sometime in the next week or so. But until next time, stay brave.